If you haven't got over the Apex UW course video by now, don't worry, because neither have I. <laughs> if you haven't seen the video, this video will contain no spoilers about that video. All I'm saying is you need to go and see it immediately. Well, when you're free. Which is why since the video, I haven't stopped talking about it. I actually think my missus is getting quite concerned with how much I'm talking about it, especially with the impending birth of my baby daughter. Shh, she's sleeping. What's that? Her name? Yeah, um, Apex UW Edges. Perfect. Yes, it's a green screen. Budgets are tough, all right? We can't just buy babies. But back on planet Earth, we step foot now in the data center. Sounds quite fancy, doesn't it? I'm not a ball. The numbers are gonna be right here for everyone to see. There is no place for a golf product to hide. Where did I put it? Hello, hello, hello. What do we have here? So I'm really intrigued to know what numbers we get from this. Because of course I was blown away with performance, blown away with look, sound, feel, even versatility. I mean, I don't think there's a surface you can't hit a golf ball from with this golf club. With any lie we faced on the course, it was just crash through the surface where they can't hurt us. We're far from the shallows now. Sha -la 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 -la. Done? I think it's time we hit some shots. The Apex UW has actually become my shot shaping tool. It will do anything I tell it to. A fade starting at that left bunker. A draw starting at that right fringe. with the heel action stopping that from turning as much but we take it I even find the household favourite the stinger quite easy with this club you would have been treated to a nice stinger if you happen to have hopped over to the other channel for part two but here we go it's stinging <laughs> into the sand and the finale it will even go in the hole if you ask it to Go in the hole. Don't embarrass me. <laughs> Come on. It's not gonna make it, it's not gonna make it, is it? <laughs> we did speak about tech on the course, but here's a quick rundown of what you actually get in your Apex UW wallet upon purchase. You'll find a head shape and size that's tour inspired by some of the big dogs on tour. Workable, compact, beautiful looking club. And with that, the length of shaft, which sits, as we said in the video, between a fairy wood and a hybrid. So this is the same club as used on the course. We've got 19 degrees, and it's the hazardous RDX black stiff shaft. One thing I quickly learned about this club is, uh, It goes a long way. 284 opener, 166 ball speed. Won't say no to some of that. To really try and achieve that hybrid like ball flight, Callaway have installed 17.5 grams of MIM tungsten weighting, strategically positioned for high launch and a steep descent angle into the greens, hopefully. The greens. For everyone that loves numbers, that's 17% tighter dispersion than that of the Apex Pro 19 Hybrid. Of course, jailbreak AI velocity blades wouldn't work very well in a jail cell, very thin, very good in a head. Stiffens the body from top to bottom, allows the face cup to flex independently. Well, we, we, we get on, we do. 
That was more of the bottom strike, which a lot of tech emphasis is based on that. If you tend to hit the lower strike, I think you might get on as well as we do. This is the exact club I need when every driver hit ends up in some cabbage. You need that confidence, you need that club to fall back on. And I've hit a few shots today with different clubs, I'll be honest, and it's not felt great. So it's not like I'm coming into this swinging well. Nice little, uh, nice little dispersion start there. So no downsides. No. No downsides, except for two. Number one, you've got more chance of stumbling across rocking horse dung than actually finding one of these things at the moment. High in demand, let's say. So get looking if you want one, to test at least. And the other one, the price. It's not the cheapest golf club on the planet at all, actually. 499.99. Australian dollars, 500 Australian dollars. Whew. So if your wallet's feeling on the sha la 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 side, look away. Yeah, that wasn't very good. Oh, oh dear, we seem to have lost connection. What a shame, we haven't. <laughs> that was the stuck heel. No matter how good your club is, Remember. That was a nice strike. Two eight eight. It's definitely a. You don't want it to be, but it's a. It could be a three hundred club, and obviously this is this one set in between. This is the nineteen. You've got the 17, you've got the 21 either side, so it's not even the most meat, but I think those distances are going to be important so you can filter, pick the correct one to find the gap. Ooh, bit of heel action saved me there. That could be big with a bit of a pull. Definitely felt like I lost that one left a bit. It's one of those sticks which you very rarely get in reviews where you'll just keep hitting it until the janitor knocks on your door and tells you it's time to, time to close. You don't even think there's a janitor here. <laughs> I don't want to push the arm too much. We did it. <laughs> 305 to end. We're gonna have to remove that one because that's not a good stat. Big slinger left. I'm gonna get those group numbers in the middle, see what we've got. So I would have been more than content just doing the course video, but it left such an impression on me. I needed to know what sort of numbers we had. It looked good. I mean, that's really the, the main part. It worked well on the course. There wasn't really many other questions to ask. Distance wise was a bit of a question mark still, which is why I definitely needed to come in here. And it's been answered. <laughs> so on average, 166 ball speed. Launch, 14 degrees, that's lovely and healthy. 4,000 RPM, beautiful. 261 carry, lovely. 279 total, 280, basically. I do feel that this club is easier to hit straighter than it is to shape. It's got that iron-like zippage, lots of backwards momentum, so buckling in the air is going to be, I'd say, less likely. Um, something like a fair order of a driver, lower loft, lower, lower zippage. This feels very much like a point and hit kind of golf club, which would be music to a lot of golfers' ears. But as I tried to demonstrate at the beginning of the video, if you want to, you can still definitely shape this thing. This club cements itself amongst a handful of others 
of where I've actually taken it to two different destinations to test. We've gone on the course we've, and we've also hit it in here. And it's even more impressive, I think, that I've wanted to test it in here after the course. Of course, we've got a lot of answers. Well, I did for sure. Feel-wise, sound-wise, look-wise, performance-wise, it was unbelievable. But I still was very intrigued how to bring it in here. Just to see what numbers we got. And uh, I don't think we were disappointed, were we? So guys, I've not mentioned it, but we did do this on the course, so you might want to go and check that video out now we've spoken about it so much but thank you as always for watching if you're not a part of team now please hit the subscribe button the bell notification follow us on social media facebook instagram twitter i live stream on twitch a couple of nights a week so i'd love to see you there and of course we've got the awesome team discord community we would love to see you there too thank you